So I have a question to pose to you guys. That if a genre specific movie comes out, let's say a comedy, and it wasn't funny, it really considered a comedy? You know what? Scratch that. Let's just get on with the review. Yo, they got it. My dear. Boy, I did help your brother. Hey, I know. He did not. We look for me today. Like, praise him. Tyler Perry's Boo 2, a Medea Halloween. So yeah, Medea Boo 2. There was a lot to say about this movie. And none of it is good. Don't get me wrong. Every movie has its good and its bad. But damn it, this movie has no good. So let's go to the bad. This movie was a movie that I really wasn't too particular in seeing. But don't get me wrong. I'll give movies a chance. It's certain movies where I went to go see. I didn't have too much expectations from it. And it ended up surprising me. So I figured I'd give this movie a chance or whatnot. And it ended up very much disappointing me. This movie has terrible acting. You have a person like Tyler Perry who is... The basically the main character playing the dad, playing Medea, playing Medea's brother, and he plays Medea and Medea's brother good. But when it comes to playing the dad of the film, he falls flat. How do you do that? Like, literally, he has no type of personality, he is just dry as a board, and it's just it's, it's bad. And then to get to just Medea and just the old folks that she's around. Just because you linger on a group of people and they constantly spew out jokes doesn't make it more funny than what you want it to be. There is long lasting of just the old people, Medea, her brother, and just the two other women just going back and forth, just, just telling jokes and just saying stuff. And it's not funny. And it lingers on them for a good five to ten minutes, just constantly just going, and it gets unbearable after a while. I can see a few minutes, okay, cool, but it just constantly just goes back and forth, and it really has no substance. It has no purpose other than to have a funny scene, which really isn't funny. And when you stay on a scene that long and it's not funny... It shows that you don't really have too much to offer to the film as far as space and just occupying it and it becomes filler after a while. And when you have scenes like that that just become filler, that shows that you don't really have anything to fill this movie with. And when you don't have stuff to fill a movie with, the question is posed, why did this movie get made? Other than the cash grab. And it's just other shots that linger longer than what it's supposed to be. And just the constant bickering. It's like, ugh. It, it, it's, 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 ugh. And it's just, just the directing decisions in this was just horrible. Just bad. And just uncharacteristic uh, things that certain characters do in this movie. From the girl's mom. From Tyler Perry's character, the father. I don't know his name. And it's just bad now i know what you're thinking like this movie is supposed to be over the top like you know what did i expect did i expect it to be an oscar winner did i expect it to be a dark knight or something like that no i didn't expect it to be those type of movies i expected it to be at least a decent serviceable movie i expected it to be funny i expected it to have some type of substance I expected to go in this and have some type of entertainment, some type of enjoyment, some type of level of satisfaction when I left the theater. And I just really didn't. Sometimes overacting can work for a movie. In this case, it doesn't. And it's just, like I said, it's not funny. A lot of the times, it's because of the comedic timing is not there. It really isn't. It's times where stuff is supposed to be funny and it's like... It wasn't. Like, the, the timing is off. Like, it just did it wrong. And a lot of times, music sets the scene. Whether it's a horror film, a drama, a comedy, certain music that plays during a certain scene sets the mood. And it doesn't have music in certain scenes, so it's like you don't know what's what. And it's just, it, 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 it it's noticeable. Just put it like that. It's very noticeable. And one of the things that I've noticed in a lot of the other Medea movies is that she always carries around a gun. She always has a gun in her purse or whatever. And she comes across these, like, ghosts or, what they, you know, basically what they're supposed to be. And she doesn't have her gun. So it's just more of having Medea be scared just for the, the sake of being funny, which I've stated before that it's not funny. 
And just the solution to how this movie ended was just so cookie cutter. It was just so bad. It, it was like it had an ending that literally this situation would not end like this. This person, these people would not react like that. What was going on in the writing room of this movie? This was just an all out bad movie. The only thing that I found remotely good about this movie was Lexi Pantera. She was just so damn sexy. Oh my God. But other than that, this movie had nothing to offer me. And with it being a comedy, it didn't offer me that at all. This movie flat out gets a zero out of 10. It is just completely bad. It is one of the worst films I've seen this year. I was gonna do a spoiler cast on this, but I, I really don't wanna talk about this movie any further. I believe I said all I needed to say about that. And so with that said, this concludes my take one movie review of Tyler Perry's Boo 2 of Medea Halloween. And thank you guys for watching this. And uh, if you like this, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Turn your notifications so that you will be notified for any videos that appear on my channel. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Peace.